Hello everyone, welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. In this video ay itatakal naman po natin ang arithmetic sequence. But before anything else, shout out muna po sa ating new channel member kay Arvin Igarge. If you want to become a member and support our channel, just click the join button below or check description box below for the join link. And now let's go back sa ating topic which is arithmetic sequence. Kapag sinabi nating arithmetic sequence, it is a sequence of numbers. So, we learned from the definition of a sequence that uh, each term is related to the preceding term in the least following a definite rule. So, ibig sabihin sa sequence, may rule po. And, of course, kapag sinabi po nating may rule, that means merong formula na ginagamit dito. Okay, so, consider the following sequences and observe how the succession of terms is obtained. So, try to observe the numbers at tingnan nyo po kung paano ang pagkakasunod-sunod nila. So, as what we can observe dito sa ating first example, nag-add lang po ng 4 each term. So, ibig sabihin, we add 4 from 5 para maging 9 and we add 4 again sa 9 para maging 13 and so on. So, ibig sabihin pala nito, may pattern sa sequence. At sa pamamagitan ng pattern na yun, madidetect na natin kung ano yung mga following terms, kung ano pa yung susunod dito. How about dito sa ating pangalawang example? 1 fifth, 4 fifth, 7 fifth, 2, and so on. Ano kaya yung pattern na na-observe ninyo? For us to know kung ano nga ba yung common difference, we can also subtract 4 fifth by 1 fifth. So 4 fifth minus 1 fifth and that is equal to 3 fifth. That means, nag-add po ng 3 fifth sa 1 fifth para mag 4 fifth. And if we can also observe na nag-add din tayo ng 3 fifth sa 4 fifth para mag 7 fifth. So, nag-add again tayo ng 3 fifth sa 7 fifth para maging 10 over 5 or 10 fifth. That means, 10 over 5 is just equal to 2. At sa arithmetic sequence po ay may tinatawag na first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and so on. At yung common difference naman po, ito yung result when we subtract the preceding term from the next term. So parang ganito po siya, 9 minus 5, which is equal to 4. 13 minus 9, which is equal to 4. 17 minus 13, which is also equal to 4. Ibig sabihin yung 4 is the common difference. Now, the question is, what if ipapahanap sa inyo yung ika-29 term, ika-73 term, ika-120 term? So, mahirap kung magmamanual calculation ka kasi takes time na po yun. So, ang kailangan dito is formula to get the terms or the following terms. So, this is the formula of an arithmetic sequence. A sub n equal to A sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d na kung saan yung a sub n is the nth term at yung a sub 1 is the first term at yung n naman dito is yung rank or order of term. So, ibig sabihin kung ang nilagay natin dito is a sub 5, 5 din yung ilalagay natin dito. Kung naglagay tayo dito ng 3 or a sub 3, ibig sabihin 3 din dapat dito. At yung d naman, itong d is the common difference. Now, let's try to look at this example para mas lalo nating maunawaan at ma apply ang formula. What if ipapahanap sa atin yung ika-17 term of this sequence? 16, 25, 34, 43, and so on. So, ang tanong daw, ano kaya yung ika-17 na term? Using this formula, hahanapin daw natin yung ika-17 na term. So, ibig sabihin yung ika-17 na number sa sequence na ito. So, ibig sabihin this is our first number or first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So, ang hahanapin natin yung ika-17 na number or ika-17 term. Since we are looking for the 17th term, ibig sabihin ito A sub 17 which is equal to 16. Bakit 16? Kasi 16 yung first term natin or A sub 1. Then plus the quantity 17 minus 1. Bakit 17? Same kasi dito. Ika 17 yung hinahanap natin. So 17 minus 1. So ibig sabihin yung N natin is 17. Then multiplied by 9. Bakit 9? 
kasi 9 yung common difference. Diba 25 minus 16, that is 9. Then 34 minus 25, that is also 9. Then 43 minus 34, and that is also 9. That means 9 yung common difference natin. So now, this will become a sub 17 equal to 16 plus the quantity 16 times 9. So we have 16 times 9, 6 times 9, and that is 54. Uh, carry 5, 9 times 1, and that is 9, plus 5, and that is 14. That means 144. So now we have a sub 17 equal to 16 plus 144. That means ang ika 17 term natin is 160. So, ibig sabihin yung ika-17 na number sa sequence na ito or ika-17 term is 160. How about this one? 9, 14, 19, 24, and so on. What if we are asked to find the 31st term? What should we do? So, same process. Since we are asked to find the 31st term, ibig sabihin ito, a sub 31 equal to 9. 9 kasi yung first term is 9. Then, plus the quantity 31 minus 1. Bakit nga ba 31 dito? Kasi 31 dito yung sub natin. Kasi same sila n. So, n minus 1, that means 31 minus 1. Then, multiplied by 5. Bakit 5? Since 5 kasi yung common difference. Diba? 14 minus 9. And that is 5. 19 minus 14, and that is also 5. 24 minus 19, and that is also 5. So 5 yung common difference. Now let's try to solve this one. So a sub 31 equal to 9 plus 30 times 5. So this will become a sub 31 equal to 9 plus 150. So a sub 31 which is equal to 159. Ibig sabihin yung ika 31st term or ika 31 na number sa sequence na ito is 159. Now, what if my fraction naman? So, let's try to look at this example. 1 8, 5 8, 9 8, 13 8, and so on. What if we are asked to find the 23rd term? So, ibig sabihin, hahanapin daw natin yung ika-23 na number sa sequence na ito or ika-23rd term. That means, a sub-23 equal to 1 over 8. So, 1 over 8 kasi yung first term natin is 1 8 plus the quantity 23 minus 1. Again, 23 kasi yung n natin is 23 which is yung ika-23rd kasi yung hahanapin natin. That means, n minus 1 ito dito. So, 23 minus 1. Then, yung common difference natin. Now, ano nga ba yung common difference? So, makikita naman siguro natin at mahalata na 5 over 8 minus 1 over 8 is just 4 over 8. And also, 9 over 8 minus 5 over 8 is also 4 over 8. And 13 over 8 minus 9 over 8 is just also 4 over 8. So, ibig sabihin yung common difference pala natin is 4 over 8. So, let's now try to solve this one. So, a sub 23 equal to 1 over 8 plus 22 multiplied by 4 over 8. And this will become a sub 23 equal to 1 over 8 plus, so 22 times 4, and that is 88 over 8. So, that means 1 over 8 plus 88 over 8. 1 plus 88, and that is 89. Then, since nag a tayo ng same denominator, that means we have just to copy the denominator which is 8. That means a sub 23 is equal to 89 over 8. So 89 over 8, ito yung ika 23rd term natin or ika 23 na number sa sequence. How about this example? Negative 11, negative 6, negative 1, 4, and so on. What if we are asked to find the 16th term or yung ika-16 na number sa sequence? The common difference is 5. Since if we are going to find the common difference, di ba ima-minus natin yung second term sa first term, third term sa second term, fourth term sa third term, and so on. So, ibig sabihin nito, negative 6 minus negative 11. So, ito ay magiging positive 5. 
Then, negative 1 minus negative 6, and that is also positive 5. 4 minus negative 1, and that is positive 5 also. So, ibig sabihin, 5 yung common difference natin dito. If you want to know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide with negative integers, pwede nyo pong panoorin yung video na nasa description box below. And now, let's plug in all the given data dito sa ating formula. Since we are looking for the 16th term, that means a sub 16 equal to negative 11 since yung first term or a sub 1 is negative 11. Then, plus the quantity 16 minus 1 multiplied by 5. So, this will become a sub 16 equal to negative 11 plus 16 minus 1 and that is 15 times 5. So, this is a sub 16 equal to negative 11 plus 75. Since 15 times 5, that is 75. So, this is a sub 16 equal to 64. Since negative 11 plus 75, and that is 64. So, ibig sabihin nito yung ika 16 term is 64. Let's try to look at our last example. What if given naman po yung nth term at saka common difference? At ang hinahanap natin ay yung first term or a sub 1. Ano kaya yung gagawin? Since given yung a sub n, so ibig sabihin a sub 14, ibig sabihin yung ika 14 term or ika 14 na number sa sequence is 81. So ipa-plug in natin yung 81 dito. Kasi yung a sub n natin is 81, di ba? 81 equal to a sub 1 plus 14 minus 1. Again, 14 kasi yung n term is 14 or ika 14th na number sequence. So, 14 minus 1 times 6. So, dito sa example na ito, given yung n term at saka yung common difference. So, let's solve this one. So, we have 81 equal to a sub 1 plus 14 minus 1, and that is 13, then multiplied by 6. 13 times 6, and that is 78. So, we have 81 equal to a sub 1 plus 78. So, let's subtract 78 both sides para yung matitira dito is a sub 1 na lang. So, 78 minus 78, and that is 0. 81 minus 78, and that is equal to 3. That means, a sub 1 is equal to 3. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, yung first term natin is 3. That's all for this video, and I hope na may natutunan na naman po kayo. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.